Oh, hey there. Just me, uh, doing a new science fair project. I am doing an animatronic hand for my science fair project. And right now, I am cutting V's into this. This is an example of what you should do. This one right here. As you can see, if you look closely, you see how... Notice how this hole slash V thing, if you turn it this way, shape of V, is much better than this one. Turn it sideways so oh. we can see. That is just ugly. Now you want to use, you want to use, you want to use a sharp knife. Whatever you do, don't use these. That's what made this hideous. Okay, so I'm going to show you my mess ups so that you don't mess up. All these over here, mistakes. Disgusting. I'm going to tell you the materials, everything you need to do it right. Okay. So first, you got, here are the materials. You're going to need electrical routing tube, tube ink. Um, you're going to need a sharp knife. You're going to need electrical tape, string, and a marker, a sharpie over there. You're also going to need um, a hand, your hand. And then you're gonna cut it off. No, I'm kidding. But seriously though, you do, you do trace it with the marker and you're going to put lines at every joint, including the knuckles. All right, so once you're done with that, you're going to take the routing tube, and uh, on the website, it said that you had to, you know, marker it off on the routing tube, but you can't see diddly squat with any marker on the routing tube. So what you're going to do is, basically, this is what I did. I just put it next to it, or whatever, took my knife, punctured it. And because of the fact that this routing tube has um, this little opening thing with jig right here, that opens this big old line that's annoying as I don't know what. You're gonna want to cut the V's on this on part that is on the opposite side of the line. So let me get back to showing you how to cut it. Is the line open? The line, yeah, the line does open, yes. Oh, okay. So uh, this is how you're gonna wanna cut it. All right, remember, do not use scissors, do not use scissors. Right. So, you just want to get it and, uh, you know, puncture the holes where the joints are or whatever. You're going to want to open it to see where the holes are. So once you get it, you're going to want to cut it in a V shape. So you're going to cut it downward like that. Let me do it again. Alright. So you want to cut it downward like a V. See how that's open? And then you want to go to the other side. Get a good little V in there. Yeah. Alright. So you know it should look somewhat like a V. You know, just good enough to bend as if it's talking and so whenever you put the string in here it'll be like wah, 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 wah. like a real hand like a real finger you know that all right so you're gonna do that so you're gonna make um so you're gonna make um you know every finger there is no palm area or hand area you're just gonna want to make it to where it goes all the way down with every single routing tube and so, um, as you can see, you put the string through the routing tube. And what you're going to want to do is, is you're going to want to, you're going to want to tie the string into a knot. 
and then after that, after you're done doing that string thing with every um, routing tube, you're going to want to put electrical tape over it. And the reason, like, why electrical tape, I bet you're wondering, is because, you know, it fits and it makes it look neat. You know, you know, which one, like, let me get one of mine that I have already done. You know, I'm pretty sure this one looks, like, way better than this one does. You know, routing tape, whether than duct tape, or, you know, just regular tape. Routing, I mean, electrical tape. It's way neater. You don't have to cut anything off. You know, I had to cut it off because it was too big. You know, it went to right here. So I had to, you know, right here it was easier. Electric tape fits perfectly. That's why electrical tape. So we're going to get, I'm just going to wrap it around here. And uh, by the way, the question is, what would happen if a ligament in the hand w w was to be were to be torn? And the hypothesis is um, the hand would be restricted from moving. The that one finger where the ligament was torn it would be restricted from moving. All right, and then you know once you're done, it'll bend, you know, like, like, like a real boy, the real finger. What's next? Okay, and then after that, um, you're gonna wanna do that to every single one, and uh, I believe those. Now I'm on my uh, thumb. And the thumb is different from all the other ones because the thumb, you're going to want to pull it like this, like after you're done. And as you can see right here on the paper, um, you know, it has this extra part right here like that. So when you come back to this, um, you know, it's you can bend it like that too. And what it says is you want to bend it like that and then, you know, pull it down. And then bring this up and then tape it around there. So let me. Electrical tape. Why do we want to tape it curved instead of straight? I don't know. But you do. Alright, and then you know it looks like a. You know, like a thumb. Yeah. Alright. But you know you um you know use all type of scissors. Still ones would work just fine. But you know you just you you just want to get this whole first part, this whole little section before you even do anything. So once you got this, you can use scissors to finish it off. But I just like to rip it off like. Whoosh. But you can use scissors to finish it off. Finish it off as well. So so we are downstairs now, and um. We have the CD thingamajig. We have the fingers. We have the sheet so we can tell which one finger is a finger. And we have our hot glue gun. Now what, we're, what you're gonna wanna do is uh, before you know you do anything, you wanna see which hand, which finger is what finger. Yeah. So this is the pinky. So it's gonna go on the far left. And what you wanna do is, you see the knuckles? You wanna go, you're gonna wanna get it to at the knuckle point. Uh, you want to gonna get it, you're gonna want to get it right underneath this part, right underneath the knuckle, right underneath. So you're gonna glue it like right around here. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put one little dot of glue. So you glue one little dot right, you know, at the far left. And then you know you get your pinky. You want to glue it right under the the knuckle line. So you glue it like this. You know I recommend you 